It's time for Inside Seminole Basketball with Leonard Hamilton. Breaking down game-changing plays. Momentum-shifting moves. Can't miss matchups. The inside scoop on the team and what's next for the Knolls as they look to make another tournament run. ABC 27 presents Inside Seminole Basketball with Leonard Hamilton. Live from Glory Days Grill in Tallahassee. Sponsored by these businesses. And hello again, Knowles fans. We are live. Glory days here in Tallahassee for another edition of Inside Seminole Basketball following one heck of a performance by Leonard Hamilton and his Florida State squad with the win over Georgia Tech on Saturday, 75-64. to And even more impressive, 600 career wins for the head man. 400 here at Florida State University. Coach, pretty special, pretty special day, to say the least. Well, it's such a blessing to have had the opportunity, you know, to work at such a fine university as, as Florida State. You know, they've been so supportive. And when I look back at my journey, you know, I've been fortunate to have three really good jobs in, in the college ranks, but they all needed a, a little fixing up. You know? A little TLC. <laughs> yeah, a little TLC. <laughs> and, and, and it has been a, 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 a very interesting journey Oklahoma State to Miami to Florida State and I actually would not have known uh, that I we had won uh, uh, 600 games until I was walking to the press and it came over the you had no uh, idea you had no idea you're so locked into the game no I really didn't and but I feel fortunate I'm honored I'm more than anything else I've had great staff wherever I've been and the kids have been extremely interesting and challenging but I've enjoyed uh, the relationships that I've established. I still have guys that I communicate with from Austin Peay State University. How about my, that? my first job as a graduate assistant. And that's the, the fun part of this, establishing those relationships uh, that, that are, are lifelong. You know, you, you enjoy those periods, and you, I've said before, you take these youngsters when they're teenagers, 17 and 18, and you usher them into young adulthood, and that's a, a big responsibility. And I feel just as proud of the fact that we've been able to, I thought, do that at, at a high level. Mm -hmm. And I'm very fortunate to have been able to have opportunity for people to have given, had patience with me so that we could, be, <laughs> so we could build these programs. So I'm excited and, and happy for all the coaches that have worked with me and, and all the players who have played such a great part in it. When did you know you wanted to be a coach? What, what was your inspiration? Well, in reality, I, I didn't know I wanted to be a coach. <laughs> I was trying to avoid going to the Army. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> because it was, uh, you know, we, we had automatic draft. Yeah. And um, I was scheduled to go to Vietnam. And I actually wanted to join the Marines. Really? And my college coach taught me into going to the, uh, the Army Reserve. And so as I'm trying to get into the Reserve, he said, well, maybe let's, let's try to become a graduate assistant and you can get in advanced ROTC, okay. and then when you go into the Army, you're going in as a second lieutenant. Okay. But I was very coachable. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So I just kind of did what I was told. And once I got in at Austin P as a graduate assistant, uh, the full-time assistant coach became ill in January and had to resign. And I was all that Kelly had. So I had all the responsibilities of a full-time assistant coach at, at 23 years old. How about that? So... I had to, I had to grow up real fast. I actually, I, I, would, I had the responsibility of leading youngsters that were older than me. Sure. <laughs> so that was a great experience, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. Yeah, um, that's that's amazing stuff. And you, you talk about your connections, and the the players that you've coached, the coaches that you've worked with. What was your cell phone like on Saturday night? What kind of messages did you get? Did you get a surprise message from anyone that were you like, man, I haven't talked to that person in a long time. It's good to hear from them. I don't think there's anyone in the world that I did not hear from. <laughs> You're right, sure. <laughs> I got them from overseas and, uh, and all over the United States, guys who we've established relationships relationships with over a period of time. And uh, I, felt, uh, I felt really honored, you know, to have people giving us that kind of respect. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned your staff, oh. and uh, you told me, told Adrian and I in the post game on the radio side, 
You said you feel like you have three head coaches no doubt, working man. with you, with, with Stan Jones and Steve Smith and R.J. Barsh. No doubt about it. These guys are fantastic. They have great relationships with our players. And, you know, I have this saying, they actually catch every raindrop. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. I mean, they're so thorough in, in what they do. They have great relationships with our players uh, and their families. God, God knows that, you know, the, 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 time, the effort and the time spent away from home it takes its toll. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't say enough about my family because I, I've probably been a, a a guy who's been so focused that my, my, my family has tolerated me, you know, giving me the freedom to to do, you know, what I love to do. Mm -hmm. and, and and so I have a lot, a lot of guys, a lot of people, a lot of families go into being a part of the team that, that help you win 600 games. Yep, and, and, and talking with... Uh, with Adrian today and others uh, about all the the guys and the, and the great people that you have worked with, I know you challenge them too to to have the the responsibilities in the role. Some some coaches maybe wouldn't do it like you do, but you challenge your your assistants to have a, a different piece of it, uh, depending on the situation. Well, because I was thrown right into the fire, my first job as a graduate assistant with uh, Lake Kelly, who I think was a basketball genius. And I kind of followed his 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 his, his imprint. Mm -hmm. Imprint. Uh, he would be on one end of the court coaching his his drills, and I was on the other end coaching drills with guys that were looking at me kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about this? Business? But but we had constant meetings, terminologies. All the drills were were written up and. And so we all were on the same page, mm -hmm. and and that I thought that's the way it was throughout college basketball. And then having the opportunity to go and be at 26, be uh, assistant coach at the University of Kentucky. Yes, I mean oh, oh, that's a dream come through, come through. Yeah. So so I having and Joe, Coach Hall gave me the same level of responsibility that um, Coach Kelly did in Austin P. So I've been very fortunate. And then I worked uh, for eight months for Lake Ke for um, Eddie Sutton, mm -hmm. and and he was more like a CEO, and gave all his assistant coaches a certain amount of responsibility, and I just feel that that, that keeps everybody sharp, everybody engaged, mm -hmm. and that it creates a, a lot of harmony within your staff. It was a joy for me. I've got to tell the story to everybody watching and listening here at, at Glory Days. Friday at practice, you were talking with. Uh, Mike Cheminsky, who had the call on the TV side with Bally Sports, <laughs> and and God, ladies and gentlemen, Coach and Mike Cheminsky were taking me through the play-by-play -play of the 1978 national championship game. You mentioned your time as an assistant at Kentucky. Uh, some of the great players you recruited, there, Jack Gibbons, you mentioned 41 points in that game, most outstanding player yeah. of the tournament. And it was just, it was like, for, it was a history lesson <laughs> to listen to you both talk about that game so vividly uh, back in 1978. Those were great moments, and that's what's, what's so good about college basketball. For the players, they learn how to compete, they learn how to fail, the, the, they have failures. And then they have to get up and go do it again and try to turn the failures into successes. That's what life is all about. You know, you don't. Life does not all, is not always perfect. Mm -hmm. You make mistakes and you have things to overcome. So I always thought that basketball was kind of like this the, the way life is. And so that game could have gone either way. It was extremely competitive, and I, I'm very fortunate. Like we came out of the window. <laughs> sure. And I, every time I see you, Jamiski, I have to let him know that. You know. Give him just a little reminder <laughs> of, of how that uh, shook out. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we're going to have some fun tonight. We're just getting started. We're obviously going to discuss the win over Georgia Tech. Win number 600 again for Leonard Hamilton. Oh, what a, a Hall of Fame career for the man sitting to my right. Just getting started. We're going to have some fun here tonight as we are live. From Glory Days Grill, the perfect stop for game day and every day of the week with daily food and drink specials, award-winning burgers, and the best darn wings in town. When it's time to pack the tuck, Glory Days Grill supports the Florida State basketball team. Glory Days, home of inside Seminole basketball. Matthew Cleveland will join us. He is our uh, player that we're going to talk to tonight. What a run he has had. He's playing some great basketball right now. Man, he's been special, hasn't he? No doubt about that, and I can't say enough about the energy that he's brought to our team, and you, you see a lot of his character coming out when, um, when Cam Fletcher went down, yep. 
it's like he stepped up at an unbelievable level and leading by example. And so I'm glad people get a chance to look, get to know him yeah. and, and share his thoughts. Yeah, we're going to talk with uh, Matthew a little bit later on. But just get started with Coach here on a Monday night. More to come as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Made by the water and enjoyed across the state. Introducing the official craft beer of the Florida State Seminoles. Oyster City Brewing Company. This year's membership drive, we're calling 20 for 20. It's 20,000 members supporting 20 teams. By joining Seminole Boosters, you are allowing Florida State Athletics to strive for excellence in all areas of the athletic department. Thank you for helping us get to 20,000 Seminole Booster members. To become one of the 20,000 Seminole Booster members, please go to SeminoleBoosters.com and join today. Inside Seminole Basketball with Leonard Hamilton, sponsored by these businesses. Last week, I uh, stepped in a bear trap. I should really get rid of it, but I'll make do. Just like I make do without home internet. Besides, my phone gets the job done. Sometimes. It's not that bad. It is that bad. Don't settle. Get Xfinity Unlimited Mobile with 5G and home internet together for just 50 bucks a month. Switch today. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & More. Our army of over 800 attorneys and 4,000 support staff have recovered billions. Injured, dialed pound long. That's all. Morgan & Morgan, America, and now the universe's largest injury law firm. The Florida Lottery is proud to contribute billions of dollars to education in our state. So Florida students can do more than just dream of a brighter future. They can create one. Learn more at flalottery.com. And we're back live on a Monday night here at Glory Days Grill in Tallahassee inside Seminole Basketball with head coach Leonard Hamilton. My name is Jeff Colhane. The Knowles are 3-2 and two in ACC play following a win over Georgia Tech on Saturday, 75-64. to A time now for What's on Tap presented by the official craft beer of the Florida State Seminoles, Oyster City Brewing Company. Check out the tap room on Gain Street. Coach, back on the road. we got Wake Forest on Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern tip. And then uh, a home game on Saturday at the Tucker Center uh, with Virginia coming to town at 4 p.m. tip. So, uh, you know, just uh, just another week in the ACC, right, for, for the uh, the Knowles coming up here. Well, I'm kind of glad we have a, a quick turnaround. Yeah. We, we need to keep playing. The, 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 the level that we are requiring of our guys now is, is extremely challenging from a cardiovascular standpoint mm -hmm. because we're playing guys major minutes the other night. Uh, I think uh, Darren Green played 40 minutes. Yeah. I'm not real sure that I can remember playing anybody 40 minutes in my entire coaching career. As much as we're playing him, it, it, it's got to be extremely taxing on his body. But he's, we talked about sacrifice. He's definitely making the sacrifice. And I think that we've learned that through the challenges that we've had to overcome with the injuries and mm -hmm. things of that nature. So it's a... Uh, it's interesting to see those guys stepping up from a from a competitive situation and giving all they have. And my staff are in both of my ears at the same time. <laughs> sure. he, he needs a break. He needs a break. He needs a break. And, <laughs> and I, I try to act like I don't hear him. But <laughs> and, you know, say he needs a break. So I'm trying to get to those uh, media timeouts uh -huh. so we can give these guys a break. But I'm hoping that um, when Baba comes in, Miller, that he'll give us an opportunity to have a little better rotation. And, ho and our young guys are, are really coming on. I, I told the guys in our team meeting today, 
that I was proud of the fact that we had those two, our two freshmen that came in the game, yep. uh, um, House and Jackson. They had five assists. Yeah. And, you know, in the game, like playing against a team that plays that matchup zone that's, that's, that really throws you off, for them to come in, they made two bad turnovers. And, and that <laughs> probably took its toll on me sure. a little more than it should have. But the fact that they came in and, and had five t- uh, assists, when you take under consideration that we had 23 assists Amazing. on 30 baskets, yes. and that's that's at a high level there. Yeah, it is. Moving Absolutely. The ball, making good decisions. I'm very, I'm very proud of that. Yeah, season high, 23 assists on 30 made baskets by Coach Hamilton squad in the win over Georgia Tech Saturday afternoon. Uh, you brought it up. Uh, I wanted to go there. Uh, Baba Miller has the, uh, the opportunity now to uh, wear the garnet and gold for the first time on Wednesday night. You might have to put, like, a, a seatbelt around him, coach, on the bench because he's going to be ready uh, to go when his name is called, I would imagine. But can you imagine what it's like oh, to be put in the situation where you have the 16-game suspension and what's going through his mind, the emotions that he's, he's having to deal with now, getting ready to go on the road in a hostile environment against a team that's really, really good, yeah. and all eyes will be on him, which is, which is unfair. Yeah. But the mere fact that... We need him so bad, and he's anxious to play. Uh, I hope that he can just calm down and just, you know, let the let the game come to him. Uh, but uh, like most basketball players, he's ran to go, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, how we manage his adrenaline. Right, right. He'll, he'll probably have a little juice to him uh, early in that game on Wednesday. Yeah, hey, just a little just bit. Just a little bit, a little bit of juice for sure. As Baba Miller, uh, you'll see him uh, in the uh, the Garden Gold on Wednesday night. You talked about it last week on the show, Coach, but, but what a an impressive young man Baba is, how he's handled the entire situation. He's continued to practice and work out with you day in and day out, obviously, and he's been the first guy up on the on the sideline, on the bench, when a great play happens to support his teammates on the floor. Well, I'll tell you a little funny story. So this afternoon, uh, he had he's improving his weight. So he came, he was weighing about 205, 207. Mm-hmm. And so I walked over to him and I said, 222, huh? He said, no, 223. <laughs> you know, because it's not easy for tall, slender youngsters, you know, to gain weight. You know, everyone has their own um, clock. They only have their own ge- genetic clock. And sometimes it's hard for those guys to, to gain weight. So he's getting bigger and stronger. So he's moving in the right direction. And um, we hope that we can keep him calm uh-huh. cool and collected on yeah. Wednesday night. Yep. As his ability as a player coach, what does his, his length, his, his skill set, his versatility uh, help you guys do on both ends of the floor? Well, Bobo was 6'2", and he grew to be 6'11". Mm-hmm. Actually, I think he's 7 foot, but he does not want to be a 7 footer. Oh, yeah. He wants to be a 6'11 guy. Sure, sure. <laughs> Which, Makes no sense no. to me. But, <laughs> but he preferred to be labeled as 6'11", so that's what we put in the book. But yeah. in reality, I think he's a little over 7'. But yeah. to tell you the truth. Absolutely. But, but he has good skills. He has a high basketball IQ. Um, he's uh, a great teammate. Mm-hmm. I mean, he is He's a, in the locker room uh, cheering guys on. and He's working as hard on, on the bench as some of the guys yeah, are is. working on the court. Yeah. And after the game the other night, uh, in the locker room, uh, we were kind of obviously we were, we were celebrating, and then they said, "It's your time, Bobby," and everybody got the patting on him and uh, hitting him on the head and hugging him, and, and he all he could do was just cover up and, and take the take the the, 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 the ribbon. Uh, but that just shows a little bit about the camaraderie on that team, the togetherness, and the spirit that these guys are playing with. Even though we got off to a bad start. I think mentally and emotionally we're in a pretty good place. Yeah. And uh, it shows when you get 23 assists on 30 baskets, that says a lot about uh, uh, the, uh, the spirit that we're playing with now. Yeah, definitely distribute the basketball very well, sharing it in a big-time way. Fun show for you here live from Glory Days in Tallahassee. We will have questions from the crowd tonight as well. So have a question for Coach ready to go. Uh, we're going to have that rolling here a little bit later. And uh, questions from Knowles fans out there on social media Go to our uh, Twitter handle, at SeminolesSN, 
on Twitter if you have a question and uh, have a thought for uh, for Coach Ham. I want to wish him uh, congratulations and best of luck this week uh, as well. Just getting rolling here on a Monday night with Leonard Hamilton. My name is Jeff Galhain, and more to come as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. From the heart of Tallahassee. Founded with a commitment to community and a will to win. Introducing the official law firm of the Florida State Seminoles. Scott and Wallace. Let me tell you what T-Spark stands for. Strength, commitment, teamwork. We never quit until we got nothing left to give. Our team is unstoppable. We conquer all things. Inside Seminole Basketball with Leonard Hamilton. Sponsored by these businesses. At Stanton Optical, independent eye doctors are available for eye exams whenever you need one. You should have seen me before I got mine. You're so quiet. Are you mad at me? Book your free same-day eye exam at Stanton Optical today. Past mistakes driving your auto insurance through the roof? Then drop by or call us. In about five minutes, we can save you hundreds, regardless of the circumstance. Auto, homeowners, life, Waterhouse and Associates. To them, I'm the most important person on the planet. Casker saying they just issued a tornado warning. Where is that location? That's the zone where we have the ongoing presence of sustained gusty winds and over towards the uh, Jefferson County line. We do have more power outages popping up. First to know weather, only on ABC 27. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Uh, having some fun rolling along Monday night live from Glory Days in Tallahassee inside Seminole Basketball talking all things FSU hoops with the head coach Leonard Hamilton. A win Saturday over Georgia Tech, 75-64 to coach, and now getting ready for Wake Forest Wednesday night. That's a 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern tip in Winston-Salem. That's a late tip, Coach. I, need, I might need to take a nap middle of the day on that one. Well, if I can get one in, I guarantee you. <laughs> Man, I'll 9 see p.m. I'll slide on a little snooze. I, I'm, I'm going to need a little caffeine, maybe a coffee about 4 in the afternoon, Wednesday. Holy smokes. Well, our guys will be ready. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about that. You know, it's important, though, that we, go, we win as many games at home as we can mm -hmm. and go on the road and try to steal a few. Yeah. And uh, we, we're challenging our guys, though, the uh, the the thing we go up overcome the odds. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're a squad that Wake Forest. I'm talking about, and, and you obviously know it. Have had a lot of success uh, at home. What makes that group uh, a, a challenge and that place, that venue, a challenging place to go and win games throughout your career? I think Coach Forbes has done a great job of dipping into the portal mm -hmm. and finding the right mix of portal guys to go with. Some of the guys he brought in that he's developed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was kind of late to the party. <laughs> but I guarantee you this, uh -huh. don't, don't worry. I will not be missing an action <laughs> moving forward. But he's done a great job with, with bringing guys in that fit. And uh, that's why they've been uh, all of a sudden very, very good. Yeah. Because he's gotten several graduate students and transfers in. And that's kind of the new way. And they're, they're really coming together as a team, and they're, they're, just, they're the real deal. Yeah. And they got some one – one of their players, Appleby, like he, I think he was at – this might be his third school. It but, is, yes, you're right. Yeah. But but he's playing a lot better uh, for Wake Forest than even he did with the University of Florida. Yeah, a lot of people saying that, that uh, Tyree Appleby is an ACC Player of the Year candidate with what he's doing right well, now. Well, he's playing unbelievable. There's no doubt about that. And, and he has, the coach brought a player, Williams – with him from East Tennessee State, and 
he's playing uh, lights out as well. I mean, you, you can go on and on and on. We got our hands full, but I'm excited about the opportunity to go in and see whether or not we can steal a road, a road victory. Yep. Well, you got you got some guys that are playing a high quality, high level of basketball for you. One of them is here. Uh, he will join us coming up in a, a few segments from now. Matthew Cleveland. Atlanta native, uh, told me uh, uh, last week that growing up he was a, a Georgia Tech super fan growing up, so I'm sure that one meant a lot to him to play well uh, against, uh, against the Yellow Jackets on Saturday, and he's been a double-double machine for you, Coach, over the last few weeks. Well, he can tell you that, but he's competitive against anybody uh -huh. who plays. He's, he's always ready uh, to represent the name on the front of his jersey. Yes. You know, it doesn't matter who we're playing, he's playing with a focus, leading us but with tremendous amount of energy. Uh, it, it's not easy to pick up 94 feet and pressure the ball and be the leading rebounder and in the, in the spirit uh, guy on the floor. Uh, he's extremely, he has an extremely high basketball IQ and he probably could, he, he knows, he understands every part of our offense and defense and he's always answering the right questions. But when the game starts, he puts his Superman cape mm -hmm. on, and he's doing things that it requires a lot of effort, focus, and, and a competitive spirit. And sometimes he just willing uh, us to uh, play him well. So yeah. I can't say enough about how pleased I am with the progress that he's made. Five straight games, five straight double doubles uh, for Matthew Cleveland. Eight double doubles in his career. Yes. And double figure scoring nine games in a row. One of the his field goal percentage is top ten right now uh, in the ACC with how he's shooting the basketball. So he's extremely efficient and and putting those numbers up and just coming off his third twenty and ten game of his young career here at FSU. What what you don't realize the energy that it takes to go out and perform at the level that he's performing. I mean, you can't take a possession off. I mean, you. On the offensive end, you sprinting down the court and you moving and cutting and passing. And on the defensive end, you know you 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 you're challenged. And the way we switch one through five, one minute you guarding a little small point guard, next time you guarding a seven foot guy in the paint, and, and you have to be just as efficient. That requires a lot of effort. Yeah. And I know these guys are fatigued somewhat, and, and they're just making that sacrifice that it takes. You know, to, to be successful, and they're giving us a chance. Yep, three straight games in the ACC for Matthew as well uh, with double-doubles, three consecutive. That's tied for the longest streak in Florida State basketball history as well. So pretty special stuff as Matthew will join us coming up a few segments from now. Well, we'll take a timeout. When we come back, we're going to hear from you out there here at Glory Days. Get your questions ready to rock. For the head coach, Leonard Hamilton, we'll have some questions from social media as well as uh, we're having some fun on a Monday night with Coach after a victory against Georgia Tech. And our show is brought to you in part by T-Spark Enterprises. Want a guaranteed win? Call T-Spark for your next roofing or construction project. We conquer all peaks. T-SparkConstruction.com. More to come with Coach Hamilton when we return as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Welcome to Truist. The bank that starts with care and the student banking partner of Florida State University. And now, Truist is the official retail bank of Florida State Athletics. They're proud to join a passionate fan base, empower our student athletes, and to support our community. Because when you start with care, you get a different kind of bank and a different kind of partnership. Thank you, Truist, for your continued partnership with Florida State Athletics. It's been said, you get the best effort from others, not by lighting a fire beneath them, but by building a fire within. It's time to build our fire. Ignited by an investment that comes from all of us. We are that fire. A fire that brings light to our city and the future. Your commitment to rising sphere, to us, and to upholding the call of the fire within each of us makes this possible. Invest to ignite. Inside Seminole Basketball with Leonard Hamilton, sponsored by these businesses. At Mediacom, we believe that whether you live here, or right here, or way out in the middle of anywhere, you should have access to fast, reliable internet. That's why we were one of the first to bring gig speeds to every customer we serve. Why we're blazing new paths to bring fast internet even further and why we're leading the way 
in developing one of the nation's first 10G platforms. It doesn't matter where you are. With Mediacom, you're always moving forward. Hi, this is Robin with Bastia Land Buyers and I buy land all over the area. I buy all kind of land, big or small, vacant city lots or acreage in the country. It's time for you to get rid of that unwanted land where you've been paying taxes for for years. I want to buy your land for cash. Pay no fees, don't deal with realtors or banks, no hassle, just cash fast. It's really that simple. To sell your land quickly, call me today for a fair cash offer. Call 850-809-1111. That's 809-1111. back Monday night here with Leonard Hamilton just getting rolling about halfway uh, we are halfway through the uh, second edition of Inside Seminole Basketball live from Glory Days Grill here in Tallahassee coming up in moments we'll talk with Florida State standout Matthew Cleveland as well looking forward to that as that conversation presented by Rising Spear this segment though it's all about uh, our audience here at Glory Days and also uh, questions from fans, Knowles fans on uh, social media. Chuck Walsh, Media Relations Director Extraordinaire for FSU Men's Hoops. We've got, uh, we got questions ready to rock, Chuck. What's going on out there, big Coach, guy? we have one of the long-time great, great fans. <laughs> great, great fans of Florida State basketball. Joe Bowman's here. He's got a question for you. Okay. So, Coach. Yes, ma'am. Of the new players... Has anybody particularly surprised you? Well, Cam Corn probably has been the one that has stepped up a lot faster than I expected. Um, we initially, we thought he would be an inside-outside player because he shoots very well from the perimeter. When Obviously, when Gainey went down, we had to move, move him inside. And then when Naheem got hurt and missed the game, he started and he took advantage of it. Uh, it's going to be hard for Naheem to get that position back. Uh, but the, the thing that has surprised me is that he's, he's had to play major minutes for a freshman, and his stamina has improved. And it's, it's hard enough when you're a veteran to play extended minutes like that. But he's played 30 minutes or so several times, and, and he's been very competitive for every minute that he's been on the court. So I have to say Cam Corn. Great question. There you go. Question. Great question. How about that? from the crowd right there. I've got a question from social media coach from yes. a Knowles fans. This is from uh, Ryan on social media from the game Saturday and he asked he says, Coach, I thought Caleb Mills played one of his best games of the season Saturday. What did, what did you like about Caleb uh, in, the, in the game as an all-around uh, performance? Well, there's no doubt that Caleb's a lot more comfortable playing off the ball than he was on the ball and that was an issue early on because when when Jackson went down, we had to put him at the point guard, and, and that was a little challenging for him. But now he's more relaxed. Um, he has not been shooting the ball extremely well from the perimeter, but I think it was three for four, I believe, from three mm -hmm. the other day. Uh, and that was something that really surprised the, Jackson, uh, the, the Yellow Jackets. Yeah. Uh, he, he's a really good shooter. He's just is more of a creator off the bounce. And now he's putting much more time in there working on his perimeter shot. And it's coming along just at the right time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Double figure threes made by your team on Saturday, second time this season. And uh, Florida State over the last two years, 4-1. and one when making uh, double-digit threes uh, into the game. So shooting the basketball, as Coach said, just at the right time here in ACC play. Another one from uh, Twitter. This one is from Michael uh, on Twitter, and he, he talked about the assists earlier. He says, Coach, 23 assists, uh, amazing on Saturday. How are you guys able to diagnose that zone that Georgia Tech plays against? Well, there's no doubt that Georgia Tech has a un unusual zone that – they have employed that's given everybody fits and and so we we decided just to kind of use a different approach mm -hmm. and um, we, we made it easier for Naheem uh, to adjust uh, with his skill set and, uh, and I thought it made a big difference and um, we, we got some lobs we got some over-the-top plays and uh, we, we got some uh, some seals inside and so I think it gave us, we got, got to the foul line a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that the, the adjustment that we made in that, in that game uh, really helped us. And uh, our guys are willing passers. 
Yeah. And we, we talked about moving the ball, making the extra pass, and creating for each other. And I thought that guy was balling into it, and that had a lot to do with the outcome of the game. Yep. And then uh, a final one from Twitter here uh, for coaches from William. And he asked, Coach, it says, Coach, congratulations on 600 wins. He goes, do you have a favorite win that jumps off at you during your career? They're all great, aren't they? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, listen, whenever you get a victory, you're just happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, I have a few more smiles on my face this week than I had last week. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Thank you very much, those folks on social media, for uh, chiming in and uh, dropping Coach a question here on the show on Monday night. Well, coming up next, we're looking forward to having him here on the main table. Matthew Cleveland has played some great basketball throughout his entire career at Florida State. But, man, he's really taken things to a whole other level. That's coming up here momentarily. Hey, Florida Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this basketball season. Visit Seminoles.com slash FFBI Sweeps and register for your chance to win a staycation when the Knowles take on UVA this coming Saturday. Winners will get great seats, pregame sideline access, hotel accommodations, and Knowles gear. Register today at Seminoles.com slash FFBI Sweeps. Brought to you by Florida Farm Bureau Insurance, proud sponsor of Seminole Athletics. Matthew Cleveland up next here as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Made by the water and enjoyed across the state. Introducing the official craft beer of the Florida State Seminoles. Oyster City Brewing Company. This year's membership drive, we're calling 20 for 20. It's 20,000 members supporting 20 teams. By joining Seminole Boosters, you are allowing Florida State Athletics to strive for excellence in all areas of the athletic department. Thank you for helping us get to 20,000 Seminole Booster members. To become one of the 20,000 Seminole Booster members, please go to SeminoleBoosters.com and join today. Inside Seminole Basketball with Leonard Hamilton, sponsored by these businesses. One special agent is taking over Tuesdays. Trent. Trent. Will Trent. As you can see, I'm overjoyed about it. Will Trent is a winning crime drama and a fun ride. Will's my best agent. He can teach you to see things no one else does. Is a kidnapping? Why Will Trent? He's good police. And he's objectively hot. It surprises and delights, led by the compelling Ramon Rodriguez. Plus, I'm a pretty observant guy. Will Trent, Tuesday, 10, 9 Central, on ABC, and stream on Hulu. Turn your low energy into big fitness energy in 2023. Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time, and get energized with tons of equipment. Simply join through the free PF app. Deal ends January 12th. Over the years, people have asked me, how did your firm get so big? The answer is simple. We won a lot. In this business, you grow by winning. As America's largest injury law firm, we have more lawyers than any other injury firm. Morgan & Morgan. Glory days in Tallahassee, having some fun as the Knowles took care of Georgia Tech on Saturday afternoon inside the Tucker Center, 75-64. to Big reason is the young man to my right who is playing a high, high level of basketball right now. He's Matthew Cleveland stopping by here at the main table. Yeah, give it up. A round of applause. There we go. As all of our conversations with our student-athletes presented by Rising Spear to support Florida State student-athletes and donate, head to the website at risingspear.com. Hey, congratulations on a win. Uh, a lot of fun to watch you guys play. And, man, you your your play has been so impressive here uh, all season, but over the last uh, nine, ten games or so. Kind of take us into your uh, into your mindset right now, how you're playing, how you're doing it, and it's uh, it's fun to watch you go out there and get it done. Yeah, just have a lot of confidence out there. I'm really, really at peace with myself, and the coaches have given me a lot of confidence. So just going out there each and every night and just showing what I have. Yeah, you and I talked uh, on the podcast last week, the Behind the Mic uh, podcast, the official podcast of FSU Athletics, and we're talking about your 
uh, your grind after last season, working on your game and working on your shot. Take me back through that again and let everybody know the amount of time and effort you put in. And I know you're really focused in on your perimeter shooting, and that's obviously paying off. You're knocking them down from behind the three-point line right now. Yeah, so a week a week after the season ended last year, I really really worked on my mechanics, moved my hand from the front of the ball to the side of the ball. Um, I would go to the gym at 8 in the morning, then I would go back at 2 p.m. and then go back at night at 8. Mm. And just really for a, a little over a month, I didn't really shoot like an outside jump shot till it felt comfortable and I was repping it like my own jump shot. So the work has really shown. And what was it every day, that the amount of shots you made yourself uh, make before you left the gym? Was there a number you hit every uh, just make sure I got up over a thousand shots. There you go. That's that's impressive. That's big time stuff to say the least. You know, uh, the uh, the amount of rebounds that you're bringing in as well. I know you put um, more on your plate. I, it feels like when Cameron Fletcher went down, and I know you challenged yourself, Matthew, to to be an even more active rebounder than what you had been. Um, kind of take me into that that mentality. You guys have dealt a lot of adversity, a lot of injuries this year. How, how have you challenged yourself to, uh, to bring more even to the table than what you were doing before? Uh, just like you said, when Cam Fletcher went down, he was our leading rebounder. So I knew someone had to step up, and I knew I had the capability and ability to do that. So just going out each and every night and hunting every rebound, even though it might not be in my area, just going out my area and trying to get a rebound so we can get on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah. You guys uh, distributed the basketball really well in the win on Saturday. 23 assists on 30 made shots. That's impressive stuff to say the least. Kind of walk me through the game from your perspective. And I know they were they were red hot early. At some point mm-hmm. you were you're wondering if they're gonna they're gonna miss one. They just everything they threw up was going in. It was crazy. But as you guys calmed down, uh, how were you able to take over that game and really dictate the tempo for the last 30, 35 minutes or so? Uh, just playing our system and we had a really good scout report from our coaches so we knew if we just believed in that, kept playing that for 40 minutes at the end, we knew we could get the win. So just not wavering in our scout report and just going out in that game and just playing it right. We knew yep. we win. Their, their zone, the different looks they give you in the zone, and Coach talked about the approach that you guys had. You changed it up a little bit. How were you able to execute it so well and, and be so successful uh, on the offensive end? Because you pulled them out of it, yeah. and they went man-to-man for the last seven, eight minutes, maybe ten minutes of that game on Saturday. Yeah, just the details we put in, in practice going against our green team, they gave us a really good look in practice of what we received versus Georgia Tech. So we knew we went over a lot of reps in practice. We watched a lot of film right after our game before. So we knew what we were expecting in the zone, and our green team helped us out a lot in practice. Yeah, absolutely. Matthew Cleveland with us, having fun. We're having fun watching Matt play right now. Man, he is uh, special and doing some special things out there on the court for this Florida State basketball team. Hang out. One more segment with us. Very good. He's going to hang out with us. We appreciate that. All of our conversations with our student athletes brought to you by the, uh, the folks at Rising Spear. And hey, did you know that FSU Athletics is self-supported, not funded by tax dollars? Because of this, we rely on fans just like you to join Seminole Boosters so your teams have the best possible chance to achieve success on and off the court. Seminole Booster membership starts at $5 per month and comes with great membership benefits. Go online to SeminoleBoosters.com to learn more or join. That's SeminoleBoosters.com. More to come with Matthew Cleveland live from Glory Days here in Tallahassee as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Let me tell you what T-Spark stands for. Strength, commitment, teamwork. We never quit until we got nothing left to give. Our team is unstoppable. We conquer all things. From the heart of Tallahassee. Founded with a commitment to community. And a will to win. Introducing the official law firm of the Florida State Seminoles. Scott and Wallace. Inside Seminole Basketball with Leonard Hamilton, sponsored by these businesses. You might think a bad guy is sexy. 
But does he diversify your stock portfolio? Does he have a healthy relationship with his mother? Does he prioritize the cleanliness of his vehicle? Predictable? That's sexy. The 2023 Toyota Corolla. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our two-year maintenance plan at no cost to you. Toyota, let's go places. The Popeye's Big Box is back, and it is big. Our juicy signature chicken, or crispy tenders, two regular sides, and a buttermilk biscuit for just $7? We're going to need a bigger box. Cass, you're saying they just issued a tornado warning. Where is that location? That's the zone where we have the ongoing presence of sustained gusty winds and over towards the uh, Jefferson County line. We do have more power outages popping up. First to know weather, only on ABC 27. Glory days here in Tallahassee. Great to have you on the TV side, and we appreciate the folks at ABC 27 for their time each and every Monday night throughout not only the hoop season, the football season as well, with Inside Seminole football and uh, their work in production of Inside Seminole basketball now during the hoop season. Got a fun one next week. Brooke Wyckoff, head women's basketball coach, will be here live at Glory Days. What a start for the FSU women off to a 3-1 and one beginning in ACC play. The Florida State men 3-2 and two right now in conference action. Uh, year number two for you, Matthew Cleveland, here at Florida State. How would you describe to people uh, the night in and night out grind in a league like the ACC? And you got uh, two more uh, very, very good opponents coming up this week at Wake Forest and at home Saturday versus Virginia. What's it like in that in that type of setting? Uh, each game it's very different because every team in the ACC has their own system and they've been perfecting the system for years now. So each and every night you get something different, whether it's the players they have or the coaching scheme they have. So you have to prepare yourself mentally each and every game for just things you haven't seen before. Yep. You guys defensively talking about uh, systems and how uh, Florida State plays the game on the defensive end of the floor. You hold Georgia Tech to just 64 points uh, in that contest. They were coming off uh, one of their best performances offensively earlier in the week uh, against Miami in that 76-70 to 70 win. Uh, just go into uh, the effort, the execution that is asked of you by uh, Coach Hamilton, Coach Jones on the defensive end of the floor and how it obviously carried over in that game on Saturday. Uh, so we've been putting a lot of work on defensive end with really details and once they got off on their hot streak, the one guy had 16 points in mm -hmm. five minutes. Our coaches challenged us to really lock in on the defensive end. So once we did that, we locked in and we made sure we were able to get the stops we needed. You, you definitely did. You're talking about Miles Kelly, their leading scorer, and he did. He, he got up to a great start, but did not make a shot or have a point go his way after the 12:35 mark in the first half. Yeah, very was, good stuff. Yeah, that's really good stuff. Um, this group. As we've talked about, you've, you've battled injuries, you, you've, you've had to overcome adversity. From a leadership standpoint, how have you challenged yourself as one of the, even though it's only year two for you in the program, you're, you're kind of one of the veteran guys now with, with what, uh, what's going on right now. How have you challenged yourself to lead this group? And I know you're, you're a big lead by example type of player. Yeah, just not to take any excuses. So even though we've had a lot of injuries and things haven't gone our way just to each and every night to show our, our freshmen and our transfers just that I'm not going to show an excuse and just, and just go out and each and every night and play as hard as I can. Yeah. Back on the road, you got Wake Forest coming up on Wednesday night. Uh, that's a, a venue where they've had a, a lot of success over the last couple of years. Kind of walk me through that mentality, getting ready for a road game in a tough, uh, tough environment in ACC play. Uh, we just have to make sure we're, we're really locked in, especially on road games in the ACC. Um, so I haven't beat Wake Forest in my career yet, so I'm really looking forward to this game Wednesday. I like that. That sounds, uh, that sounds good to me. And I know you are all very excited to add uh, another body, if you will, as Baba Miller will be available uh, in this game. You get a big smile on your face when I say it. What a great, what a great teammate, right? He's gone through. He talked about adversity, missing the first 16 games, uh, and I know he's excited to play. I'm sure you guys are ready to have him out there, too, as well. Oh, definitely. Just the encourage, encouragement he's shown us through these 16 games, and it's just really fun to watch, and just to see him in practice every day, it's not so often you get to watch a seven-foot guard, someone that <laughs> has his skills to play, so it'll be really fun to have him back. How would you describe to people um, with him on the floor how, how he helps you guys with the, the way he plays the game? 
uh, just his length. It feels like we have like extra bodies on the court because his length is he's just a seven foot, talks energy wise. So it'll be just really fun to have him back. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I tell you what, we appreciate your time very much. Thanks so much for coming out and uh, continued su success. Keep it going. You're yes, playing sir. great right now. There you go. It's Matthew Cleveland, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Matthew sign out in the crowd. Look at that. We got we got signs and everything here at Glory Days in Tallahassee. Well, our program brought to you in part by Truist, the official retail bank of the Florida State Seminoles. Care, it's a total bank changer. See how at truist.com. When we return, Coach Hamilton rejoins us on the main table as you're watching on ABC 27 and listening on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Welcome to Truist, the bank that starts with care and the student banking partner of Florida State University. And now, Truist is the official retail bank of Florida State Athletics. They're proud to join a passionate fan base, empower our student athletes, and to support our community. Because when you start with care, you get a different kind of bank and a different kind of partnership. Thank you, Truist, for your continued partnership with Florida State Athletics. It's been said, you get the best effort from others, not by lighting a fire beneath them, but by building a fire within. It's time to build our fire. Ignited by an investment that comes from all of us. We are that fire. A fire that brings light to our city and the future. Your commitment to Rising Spear, to us, and to upholding the call of the fire within each of us makes this possible. Invest to ignite. Inside Seminole Basketball with Leonard Hamilton, sponsored by these businesses. since 2020 to people in need. Final time live from Glory Days in Tallahassee inside Seminole Basketball. And how about a big round of applause for our guy Chuck Walsh, ladies and gentlemen. Does a great job. Media Relations Director for FSU Men's Hoops. And uh, here tonight is our uh, in-breaks uh, host. He's, he could do the play-by-play, I think. Coach, he's, he's rolling, my man Chuck over there. He's well, doing it. Well, Chuck is one of a kind. <laughs> there you go. He, uh, he uh, has everybody uh, locked in with trivia. And getting the prizes uh, lined up and hand out pretty fun stuff during our timeouts here. There's not a dull moment, not a second off with Inside Seminole Basketball uh, here uh, live from Glory Days. Time now for our keys to success this week for the Knowles. It's brought to you by Scott & Wallace, the official law firm of the Florida State Seminoles, 222-7777 with offices in Tallahassee. Coach, kind of walk me through, obviously tomorrow is uh, you got practice and a travel day, and then gearing up Wednesday night for Wake Forest, kind of take me in to uh, what's important from your perspective getting ready here for Wednesday night. Well, one thing that's good, that's challenging, most challenging about the teams in the ACC, they always have some strengths in the, and they all, we all have weaknesses. They're a tremendous transition team, mm -hmm. and they shoot uh, threes very, very well. But they shoot threes in transition, and there are a there are ISO team, a team that isolates you and go one on one off a lot, yeah. quickness and speed. So we gotta contain the dribble. We got we gotta make sure we get back in transition, uh, and, and hopefully we can cut down their their, their ISOs. Uh, one-on-one -on -one type attacks. People normally like to challenge our centers because we switch one yeah. from five, 
and uh, hopefully we can do a, a good job containing and dealing with that. I'll tell you what, you, you mentioned uh, Naheem McLeod uh, a little bit earlier. Man, his, his first half uh, on, on Saturday I thought was one of his – more energetic performances. He, he felt like he really helped you out in so many ways on both ends. Well, his size makes a huge difference. And uh, Cam got in foul trouble early, and I thought he came in the game and really delivered. He made a big difference. Just his size and girth inside. He got a couple of putbacks for us and got fouled, um, and, and he deterred uh, a lot of the uh, attempts in the lane. And sometimes his size doesn't necessarily show up in the statistical column because he alters shot, shots, and they have to give him a certain amount of attention inside, which gave us some of those baseline jump shots. I think one of the things that you mentioned in the post game I thought was really interesting, he was posting up hard yes. and maybe not getting the basketball, but like you just kind of laid it out, that led to other areas of that zone opening up. Him just doing that yes. helped you guys score, yeah. score in baskets on the offensive yeah. end. We simplified it a little bit for him. So, of uh, course, it, it's not easy for a seven, four guy to be moving around as much as we would like for him to. And uh, so I thought his presence inside made a huge dif difference. It made, made us... Gave, gave us some other opportunities that I thought uh, really, really helped us win the game. Yeah, he talked about Caleb Mills and how he has maybe felt a little bit more comfortable moving to that off-guard position over the last couple of weeks. Jalen Worley, uh, as that point guard distributor, uh, I know has done some really nice things. And, man, he had a highlight moment uh, going <laughs> up with the, with the right hand and throwing it down hard in the second half on Saturday. That was a Leonard Hamilton type <laughs> jump. jump. <laughs> that was a Coach Ham move right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I've been demonstrating that for a bit practice <laughs> with both of my bad hips. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly right. But but even, you know, you talk about the 23 assists, yeah. you got guys that need to handle the ball, diagnose what's going on out there, and I know you've, you've challenged Jalen even with open shots. Hey, we need, need you to shoot it as well when you have that opportunity from the perimeter. Well, I, I, our perimeter guys are really doing a good job defensively. And now we started to play without making fouls uh, and, and extending their, their energy on the court and making that sacrifice. And you know they got to be fatigued, but they're reaching deep down inside and find a little extra energy uh, to, to play to that media timeout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, as we had uh, last week here, Darren Green stopped by Glory Days. And the, the shooting is just so spectacular when he gets it going. And he didn't have his best stuff early. But, man, shooters are going to find a way right. They're going to keep uh, finding that touch. The ball is going to feel good in their hand. And 18 second-half points for uh, for Darren uh, on Saturday was really impressive. But he, he, along with Tom House, are our team are our better shooters. And they both went 0 for 6 in the first half. But with Caleb hitting a couple threes and Wally hitting one and Cam Cohen hitting one, uh, that, that gave us a, a little lift that I'm sure they were not – Planning on mm -hmm. uh, having to defend, uh, they did a good job on on uh, Green the first half, mm -hmm. uh, but but those other guys uh, making those threes, I thought gave them something different to think about. Yeah, 18 second half points for Darren Green, and he had himself at one point had, had a Darren Green 8-0 run <laughs> in the second half. The way he was scoring the basketball, Coach, congratulations again on 600 career wins, and let's go get 601 Wednesday night, huh? Thank you very much. Thank you, Coach. Leonard Hamilton, the head coach of the Florida State Seminoles. We appreciate his time very much here live from Glory Days on Monday night. Again, next week, Coach Brooke Wyckoff and uh, the Florida State women will be in the spotlight as we'll uh, be on the road traveling to Notre Dame. So come on out to Glory Days and support the FSU women who are off to a great start in 2022-2023 in ACC play. My name is Jeff Callahan. Thanks, everybody, coming out tonight. We appreciate you. Go Knowles. And we'll talk to you Wednesday night from Winston-Salem. Have a great night, everyone.